What's up, pimps? It's your boy Creed, and we are back with another episode. My friends, and my friend in particular, my boy Hayes. Yeah, what's going on? You from the street might know him as Tim. Tim, take the floor, man. What do you want to talk about? Man, I want to talk about these whack ass motherfucking band lab rappers talking about they want some beef, bro. Let me tell you something. I dropped my track. Shit started getting a lot of plays, so I guess dude got jealous. But, uh, you know. I came back. He had some words to say, so I came back at him with a little track. He didn't retaliate. So basically, what, you had submitted some songs, and um, there's like a comment section, I guess, and somebody tried to haul off and say, uh, right, right. you suck. Yeah, yeah, dude said, ha. Ha. I said, okay. Just ha? Yeah, yeah, ha. Now, why, why didn't you just address that and not instead just say something to him that he can conclude... I mean, I did. Next I posted it on my page, you know what I'm saying? I let them know, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I wasn't going. I was a force to reckon with coming to this music shit. You know, now, stuff. are you sure that just wasn't uh, constructive criticism of self? Like, he ain't got no constructive criticism, old bum-ass motherfucker talking shit. He ain't nothing. If somebody came to my comment section and said, ha, huh, I don't think I'd feel threatened by it. I think I would make some kind of mediocre follow-up or something, you know. I, you know. Well, what did you do? What did you do? I retaliated. How? I made a diss track. A diss track. A diss so track, ladies and gentlemen. You took Got it old in school. his motherfucking That's ass. Good. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Now, um, you probably don't know hardly shit about the guy, right? I mean, is he mm-hmm. from around here? Yeah, he said 781, but I think he claimed California or something. Do you think there's any jealousy or anything? Most definitely. Like Most your competition? Definitely. He thinks, you know what I'm saying, that he's competition. He got another motherfucking thing coming. It's okay. just all fun and game. So you made the diss song. What happened next? Well, I made the diss track. No response. I mean, just like a coward in the corner. Didn't have uh, shit to say, so... So you basically made the song and then like emailed it to his personal Gmail account. Man, I sent that bitch on band lab. Burned it on CDs and then mailed it to his actual home. I could. Yeah. That'd be nice. Lighted. Dude didn't have nothing to say after that. Mm-mm. Cheers. Beef song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was some hardcore shit. How about this music? You had some new music come out in the last few weeks. Yeah. New tracks. I finally... I got through to you, I guess, and I said, hey, you need to make a YouTube or something, SoundCloud something, right? Right. And you made a YouTube. Well, you've been utilizing that to your advantage, finally. That's awesome. Um, How many songs did you put out? Uh, In the past couple of weeks, I think eight. Eight songs since you got that YouTube popping? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's like damn near a whole album. 345 followers on BandLab. Fan Lab is like a music community where mm-hmm. different artists collaborate, get together, you know what I'm saying? Is it as popular as SoundCloud or? I think it's way more. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Do you remember any of the names of the tracks? Oh, yeah. Dancing with the Stars. Uh, the last one I put out was called Radio Never Played Us. I banging. actually seen that one day. I was at work and because I'm subscribed to your channel, it popped right. up as a notification. So yeah, I heard that. Um, out of all those eight songs, which one's getting the most popularity, if you will? I think right now, Radio Never Played Us, Dancing with the Stars was on top. Uh, Change Up is still in there. Yeah. Uh, so. um, what do you think about the state of music right now? Well, I mean, I think it's way different right now, you know, and you, you got to kind of, uh, I wouldn't say adapt, but like, you know, do not do the same thing as other people are doing, but kind of differentiate your shit in a little bit, you know what I'm saying, like make it sound different. Okay. You know, but. We talked about this in the last video. Um, we talked about how we're from a different era. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have different like musical sounds versus what's going on in society right now. Right, right. I'm going to take you off track of that a little bit. I'm going to ask you, and you probably don't give two shits. 
What do you think about the whole Takashi Six Nine thing? Oh goddamn, my guy, man! You know what? I used to listen to him. He was hard in the motherfucker. He still is hard, but when you turn your motherfucking back and you straight, you straight dry snitching. No, we don't rock with no snitch, bro. We don't fuck with no rap. Now, you do understand that when he first got arrested, indicted, blah blah blah, or whatever. The whole media had this shit where it was like, oh, you snitched. You snitched. You came out okay, and all right, told. All right, let's, let's, let's get on the uh, Hold on. I'm not done. Conversation of snitches. Now, time has passed. Mm-hmm. The more people are getting indicted, it turns out there was more informants involved. So Takashi was not right, just right. the he wasn't only, only snitch. One. He, wasn't he was the one. star witness snitch. Right, right. So there's other people that was dropping the dime before him that was working alongside the FBI. Right, right. Now, people have been speculating that when he gets out of jail, he's not going to have a rap career. He's not going to have a life. He's going to have to go into witness protection, cover the tattoos, all that good shit. And, you know, Takashi fired back and said no. But see why he did that, man. Them, them people was extorting his ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were saying, all right, you're going to make $200,000. we are going to take 100000 off the top. The people he snitched on... Some serious They slowly kids, robbed man. him over time. They wasn't his friends. They wasn't no. his family. No. Uh, they were slowly draining him like a vampire. Right. They plotted to... Uh, they actually did rob him of a set amount of dollars worth of jewels and jewelry. 300000 And then they were going to have him killed. It mm-hmm. was the fact that the FBI had everything wiretapped that they went ahead and scooped Kashi up and got him in custody because his own people that he was paying or getting extorted with or... Ha- whatever it's called the people the, the motherfucker he was giving money to they were gonna have him killed anyway right, definitely right. so do you think he's in the wrong for snitching cause to me that's like an enemy if somebody's gonna I'm looking at you, it like this if somebody comes at me and I'm making two three hundred thousand and somebody's trying to take two let's say four thousand off top four hundred thousand off top no but check Just this out because I would never snitch but yeah, time, nobody said there snitch. That's not the first thing you want to do. Extorting this poor young man, you know what I'm saying? He's coming in the game and he's like, damn, man, this he's shit young. nice. I got, he ain't got nobody. Go straight to the manager. Damn, I want the new Louis bag over there. I want this new motherfucking Ferrari over here. Done. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked. But the thing they wasn't telling him, the thing they wasn't telling him, go spend that money. Go right ahead. You know what I'm no, because it like, it's going to bankrupt your motherfucking ass. Next thing you know, you turn around and you're like, damn, I had this much money in the bank. I got this. These fools done stored to this. This is all I got left to work with. Not to mention promotions. All that shit. To me, I felt like he was having to pay to play. Right, right. No he doubt. was having to feed and funnel money to these street thugs to be able to have that clout, the claimature, to be able to be like, I'm a blood son, whatever. Right. Well, indefinitely, not only were these people robbing him softly, softly, strong arm robbing him, but they were going to have him killed. Now, Let's look at it on this side of the fence. Everybody's caught. Everybody's busted. Okay. They're offering you 50-something fucking years. Are you willing to keep your mouth shut over the sake of pride against people that were going to have you killed and or have been slowly, steadily robbing you? Hell your no. Entire- if a motherfucker's Fuck there, no. me for Fuck fucking those money, guys. Man, I'd be hell. singing like a bird. Oh, Fuck damn you. straight. Cause you know straight. what? He's going to come home in a year. Right. He's already spent one year. That's going to get right. accredited. He's going to do his other little year, wrap it up. He's going to have parole for life. And let me clear this up. I ain't got no problem with Takashi. I think his music is great, great artist, and he did what he had to do because them fools was taking his money. Yeah. No doubt. So to call him a snitch is like, it's not the same. It's not treading common waters as per se if somebody in the 90s called you a snitch right, or accused right. you of snitching. Okay. I definitely wanted to hit up on that. That was a, a nice, nice little note. Yeah. Because also, we too are in a different day and age. And mm-hmm. honestly, the people that are saying he snitched are a bunch of has been old wannabes that don't have anything. That's true. They're just mad their money got fucked up. That's yeah, true. And a lot of people are going to go down. Ultimately, this is their fault. This is the gang's fault for letting someone in the game like that. A young kid that had everything to gain, who was on the rise, making plenty, plenty money. Mm-hmm. 
ultimately, you guys burn that shit up. That's my theory on it. So, fuck it. I, we're not going to sit here and... I, I'm not going to go on record and bash Takashi and call him a fucking snitch. No. He did what he had to do, which was in his best interest. What's that thing they say? I came in the world screaming, covered in blood. I'm going to go out that way, too. Mm-hmm. Takashi, you did what you were going to do. You were a young 20-something-year-old guy with fame and fortune and nothing nothing but the best to earn. So, I mean, all right, yeah. right. Here's a Takashi. Come on soon, player. So, now, let's look at the downside of that. That shit is over. Over. He can't be claiming no game. He can't be running around saying, suck my dick, test my nuts, I'm a gangster. Yeah, yeah. Right. He lost all that shit. And it's highly unlikely that another gang would pick him up. Now, I do foresee him getting a record label deal down the road, mm. but he didn't really have one in the first place, so he might go that route again. No, no, they took him. He was young, you know what I'm saying? They put him in the streets, you know what I'm saying? They put the flags all on him, made this shit seem like, hey, this is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think the beef stuff will be gone, that aspect out of his career. The gang claiming will be out of his uh, future for that. As oh, far yeah, as yeah. He... he he definitely gonna be changed when he come back. You know what I'm saying? There ain't gonna be no yelling as loud as he was, you know. Yeah. Have you ever heard of uh any publicity is good publicity? It's meaning it's if someone's speaking bad and ill on your name, yeah. um, it's better than nothing, I guess. But at the same time, I think this whole case has brought more attention and light on him than anything. Right. Free publicity. It's the story of the century. He's being called a snitch on front page news on every news outlet. It's just going to make people like, he's going to be more highly anticipated to hear back from, you know. I think this worked in his favor, honestly. What do you think? Yeah, but at the same time, hip-hop. Shit did look dark in the beginning when he first got arrested. Hip-hop, now that all this is coming to light. Hip hop going to look at it like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't rocking with no rap. You know what I'm saying? That's. Street cred, yada yada, all that bullshit. Now, you, you know say they say that, but look at this. What would happen if somewhere, somehow, something happened and you got an email from Takashi's manager saying, Hey, Hayes, we want you a feature with Takashi. Are you going to take it? Would I take a feature from Takashi? You damn right. You damn right. You Why? Damn right. Everybody's going to want to know what the hell Hayes is talking about. Right. For Takashi to get with him on that shit. I, man, look. So many people a year ago really made this kid out to be like he wasn't going to amount to shit. I think he's going to be all right. I think he's going to be all right. Let me tell you something else. He's the first motherfucking artist I've seen go to the Dominican Republic, put money in kids' hands, put I've money in video. Them, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, feeding families. You know yeah, what he wasn't Go no over. scumbag. He just had no. a big mouth, you know? Yeah. Fuck. He's going to do what anybody's going to do. But, uh, yeah, uh, now he said he's not going to go on witness protection. He's not going to cover his tats. Because right. that's, to me, I feel like that's what made you who you were, motherfucker. Why would you take that away over hiding? You're not going to hide. No. To me, he's going to walk out of that jail with his chin high with his pride in hand. Like, he's... Everybody, I guess, wanted to pretend that when this all happened, he was done for, finished. They, he was getting really, like, when Fifi came out, that's when shit was coming to a fucking head. Mm-hmm. And then when the arrest came, it made front page news. Man, he got so much publicity out of all of this. Give it 10, 15 more years, nobody's going to give a fuck. Nobody's going to give a damn. Cause They're going to want to know his story. He's going to be able to write books. Do talk shows, podcasts. Man, he's going to be If anybody in this motherfucking money. world thinks Takashi's the only motherfucker that told, come the fuck on. And I mean, in reality, he wasn't the only one. He was the only one. It's like this. There was like, what, 30 other gang members or more. People are yeah. still probably coming down the line getting indicted. Yeah. He, the only reason why people made a big deal about him is because he's a celebrity. That's it. Rainbow yeah. hair. It made him a target. They're going to be like, right, right. This clown ass motherfucker snitched. You don't think 12 out of those 30 plus people are going to probably let out little incriminating pieces of information to shave off some time on their upcoming prison sentence? Oh, yeah. yeah. You damn right. This is yeah. the real world. You people need to understand 
what you see on the internet, on your little phones, and all that shit, it's fake as fuck. Okay? Um, everything's about observation, placement, um, field of view. Uh, like I said, back to all this as a whole, now that things have came to light that Takashi wasn't, in fact, the only one that was kind of giving out or volunteering information, like I said, I can see if Takashi was rocking with this gang for 10, 15, 20 plus no, years no, 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 no. And then he snitched. Yeah. That would be a completely different relative scenario when you want to call somebody a then, snitch actively. Then people just came in and was like, all he right, did well, I'm going to take you fuck? under my wing. I'm going to show you the ropes, guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm Normal hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like P. Diddy did Biggie. Hey, you know, I'm glad you brought up P. Diddy because do you remember the incident when he was dating J-Lo and there was a shooting in a club? Mm hmm Do you know what happened? Mm-mm. Shine took the took the blame for that pistol or the yeah. gunshots in the club. Yeah, yeah. Puff Daddy, man, Shine did like what, 20 years, 15, 20 years? I could be wrong, don't kill me. But um Shine got released and he didn't really get shit, man. People move on. Time passes. He took the fall so that P. Diddy didn't take that blame. Right. Because P. Diddy would be gone. P. Diddy wouldn't even be P Diddy P. Diddy anymore if he would have manned up and took his charge. No. When you're smart and you got money, you pay motherfuckers to take that shit. Mm-hmm. He promised Sean all this money, and when you get out, blah, 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 we'll take care of you. You're going to be straight. You're going to be good. What do they do? Not take care of Sean's ass, right. I'll tell you that. Left him right where it was, man. Then you got this poor man that lost all these years of freedom in the name of something that happened one time, one night. It's a super, super sad situation, honestly. Like, I, I ain't taking no motherfucker's charge. Nothing like that. Just be a man to stand up and take this shit on your own. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what oh. pisses me off, like, if you want to talk about loyalty and everything, mm-hmm. nowadays we live in a society in the laws, of course. Okay. Me, you, and two other dudes are in a car. Mm-hmm. Joe Blow driving owns a pistol. Okay. It's illegal. He ain't supposed to have it. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. You pick the scenario. Right. We get pulled over. And then the cops find the gun. Mm. They go, whose gun is this? Obviously, you know it's not mine or yours. Damn straight. Joe Blow's not fessing up to it. And they do this. All right, fine. Y'all want to do this the hard way? We're going to charge everybody with a soft example of a, a possession charge of an illegal firearm. Congratulations. Now you're all facing prison time. Why didn't Joe Blow just man the fuck up and claim that that was his fucking pistol? Because Joe Blow ain't got no motherfucking heart. That's right. That's worse to me than a snitch. Right. A snitch is nothing. Now, listen, the only way the word snitch really applies to something is if you're locked up in jail and something happens and you, like, you get to a fight, you get beat up super bad, and you get hurt, and the guards and the officers are like, who did this to you? I ain't saying shit. That's what you would formally do. Now, let's rewind back to the car scenario. It's Joe Blow's gun. Mm-hmm. Joe Blow's not fessing up to it. No. Nope. By him not fucking fessing up to it and getting everybody out of that shit, he's not being a man. That's worse than a snitch to me. Right, right. What do you think? Hell yeah. I mean, come on. If you're going to be man enough to run off and go pick up a gun and be about it like that, and situations arise to where you're hemmed up, you better take that fucking charge. You better man up and take that charge. You man up. Like, don't give the two innocent bystanders in the back seat a same or lesser charge because you scared and you think you're going to beat this? Fuck no, man. That's some bullshit right there. Like, that that to me is worse than a snitch. Like, yeah, if you're going to man up and do this kind of man-ass shit, then you're going to deal with the charges. Right, right. You're going to roll these motherfucking gangsters. Better get your motherfucking shit up. You're going to roll with these players. Get your motherfucking shit up. Cause how are you gonna explain ass standing that? on the motherfucking street corner crying like a little bitch? I mean, for real. To me, I think the media's got shit fucked up, super, super bad. Like, and that's the problem with society. Everything is based on image. People put on this facade that they're badass and they're tough. Mm-hmm. And that facade gets your ass beat, motherfucker. You ain't shit. I'll come in ten years. Your rap career's gonna be over. You're crack gonna be your old. Ass and make it head. 
crusty, wrinkly. Nobody's gonna play your shit. Right. Now, let's move this along. All right. Is there anything you're interested in talking about or discussing as far as um, you had anything to you want to uh, make adjustments to as far as? Outlooks or views on things, or do you try to stay to yourself and just not focus on the outside? Of the world? Pretty much don't focus on the outside. When, you know what I'm saying? When I make music, I just pretty much it just goes with it. You know what I'm saying? I just go. So you don't study all the drama or nothing like that? No, I don't study no drama. Now, this guy you made the beef track on. Right. You think it ultimately ran him off? I think his pussy is pretty much scared. It's funny. When rappers collab across the internet or whatever. But see, he didn't have to do me like that. Well, I was being humble. I came to shit humble. You know what I'm saying? I said, you know what I'm saying? Do you not believe there's going to be some uh, criticism out there? No doubt. It's no like doubt. this. Not everybody's going to like you. So how are you going to respond to this? And I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. I, I thought it was quite admirable that you ran off and made a diss track on him. Because you know what? That's on file. That's on record. And... Um, He's going to have to come back with something hard if he wants to go yeah, that he, route with look, you. It's been a week. He ain't come back. A me. week? You won that beef. I won that shit. That's awesome. <laughs> That's the way you should have handled it, and you did, because when you told me the story earlier, you said, uh, yeah, I posted this track, and this guy said blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. And I was like, I asked you, I said, well, how did you handle it? I thought you maybe got Keyboard Warrior and told him a little about himself. Yeah, I don't know. Hell no, Tim said, I came back with a diss track. That shit was cold to motherfucker. That's how you're supposed to handle shit. And if this fucking asshole has a problem, he's supposed to come back with a diss track. If he ain't coming back with a diss track, he has no integrity. Right. Or skill. Right. I mean, if you're a rapper, you're here to rap. You're here to, uh... I mean, this dude, like, 50-something years old trying to be on the mic, man. Come the fuck on now. You didn't tell me he was an old dude. Yeah, he old fuck. He, he like, old as shit. Like old as no dude. wonder you dusted him, man. You dust balls, motherfucker. You probably like yanked the damn little bit of uh, courage he had out of him. A little him bit, you know what I'm saying? Stomped on it right in his mama's face. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much did. He probably deserved it. Fuck him. He Whatever. Did. Who cares? He, he deserved it. If he comes back, chances are his track's probably not going to be as good no. at all, period, no. by a long garbage. shot. He garbage. But then you two reserve the right to come back and clap at him again with another track, right? Right, right. That's how you do it. You're now listening to Chris Craze. You're now listening to Chris.